Hey guys, I accidentally wrote a class that lets me draw, so let's draw, let's draw the only thing that comes to mind, obviously a penis, and remove all of my ads if I had any. So I obviously didn't write this class to draw penises, although that is a very good uh, usage of it. I wanted to have a way to mark a place on the screen with a dot, essentially. And that's exactly what this class called point does. Uh, I actually need it for a future video of mine that I'm going to make. So, first of all, I gotta show you how this draws. So, I have a hotkey, Windows Plus left click, and while I'm holding it, I'm creating points. But let's actually go to point. Uh, what are the most important factors? First of all, if you don't pass a coordinate, it just becomes the coordinates of your screen. But you can specify one, but not the other, or specify both of them, or specify none of them. And you can also specify the size. Uh, the current size is 15, by the way, and it should look pretty much the same on your screen. As far as I as far as I know and then you can also specify the color okay so that whole thing gets done in the constructor you can change the size by referring to the size property and keep in mind that in my GUIs if a field or property starts with a capital letter that means you can just assign stuff directly to it but if you uh, if it starts with a lowercase letter, that means that you should not touch it. It's like a general rule. Here you can change the color field to a default color. And actually, you can use it in code to get different colors. So let's press Windows E on this green, and I should get green. Well more or less. <laughs> it works, I just picked in the correct place. So you can specify the default color, but also after you create an instance of the class, you can change the color by like, okay, imagine I have that point class instance and then I'm like instance color and then I specify the color in hex. Okay, same thing about size, I just specify it. Remember, the default that I am currently showing is 15. Then, the actual thing that makes me able to draw, the method called destroy all. By calling it, you destroy all of the little squares that you have currently on the screen. And let's reload this to actually have a good color because that looks like actual shit. Yeah. So by calling the destroy all method, I get to destroy all of them. And that is automatically implemented here. So once you create at least one point, you also have a hotkey of escape to destroy all of them. And once there are no points left, well, escape just works like normally, so you don't have to worry about anything. But if there is at least one, escape will first delete all of them and then act as your escape. Then one thing that is pretty cool, which is the main part of the idea of this entire class, is the fact that it appears like the center of the point is where you click. So usually when you build GUIs, if you specify your mouse coordinates, it will start at those coordinates and go to the bottom and right. But point actually, where you click is the middle of the point. So I found that pretty cool. It's not mega precise, but it's pretty good. Uh, also, the points can never become a focused window, 
and it's also click through but you need the extensions GUI dependency okay anything else that I want to point out no not really aside from spots once again just like there was in state bulb I think spots is an array of uh, class instances of spots so every time you create a new spot boop, it gets added to this array and that's how we can destroy them all by going through the array and at least trying to destroy them and that's why they are destroyed one after another so is this effective or performant or efficient for drawing absolutely not it's terrible but honestly it works like for the most part but once again my initial idea which I'm going to implement is a relative chord getter first you click on one place then on another and it gives you the difference between those coordinates so you wouldn't forget where you actually started at it will create a point but programmatically in my hotkey it creates them until I release the L button but you can actually just use point create with the specific coordinates to create a single one and that's generally the use so I just thought that this might be at the very least funny or interesting or useful or cool for you. And if it was, leave a like, press and comment, maybe have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!